Emmy, are you going to cast a spell? Oh, that is Scott. 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 Hey, Emmy. Do you want to show the camera the wand that okay. you just got? Okay. Show the Show it to the phone. Okay, you can show it, your daddy. What do you say? What's all the spells? Can you say Lumos? Lumos. <laughs> so we wanted to do a little live stream and let you know that uh, I'm alive and well and we're kind of back at it. Um, we've had a lot of issues with my health lately, back-to-back -back surgeries and a lot of hospital visits and stuff, but, but I've been uh, working hard in the shop. I'll take uh, I'll take the phone out there in a second and show you guys what I've been working on. I've had a few big batches sent off, and I got another one finished. Don't wands with each other. They're not swords. You must. You must. But the girls are being really cute with the wands, and wanted to show you. Oh, be soft. <laughs> Very nice. Say you're sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well, you're gonna do it again. What do you do? Yeah. Anyway, I will take you out there and show you um, some of the things that I've been working on. I just wanted to say thanks everyone for your patience and uh, for still following us. Yeah. And supporting us. Okay. Okay. So, just got these finished and polished. Um, some of them I got. I'm gonna do another coat of uh, wax and then polish them again, but we'll be sending these off next. I've had about, uh, since I've gotten back to work, about four batches like this sent off. Um, and this is a wide variety of different kind of orders. Um, and I'm, I've been, well, everything I do, I kind of have videos going and stuff, recording it, not always live and stuff, but I'm going to be putting these, uh, some of the making of these wands and uh, um, like time lapses and stuff together in a video um, or multiple videos that I'll put on YouTube and I've been making little uh, like snips of them for Instagram because um, you can't really go uh, lo longer videos on there but yeah I'll kind of rotate these and show you I'm sorry it's been so long Things just been a little crazy. This one's kind of cool because it's actually um, four different pieces of wood. I got this. I have this branch end down here, and then um, these rings are each a different kind of wood, and uh, this actually was as well. And in the video, you see how I like put them all together, and then I had a, a dowel in the center and connected it all. But I think that's the most uh, different types of woods I've used on a single wand. This one's one of the fantasy collection wands. I've got some runes on it here, and I did lots of these quartz crystals on there. And from the sealer, these still are a little matted out. I gotta pop, polish them up a bit. And this one is a new style. I haven't really done something like this. Let's see if I can show you the angle. It's actually kind of like a hexagon um, on the very end. And then I just had it separated with these two spots, and 
I did, I burnt um, the darker sections rather than doing like a, a paint or a darker stain and then I just did the straight um, walnut for the rest of it. And it, it made a pretty good contrast there. I guess the way the phone is, this might help. Okay. Um, this one I'm kind of excited about. Finished this yesterday. It's a Phoenix wand. It took a long time. It was actually from a bigger piece of walnut from an old table that we had for a long time, and I cut it down and um, I ended up doing, uh, after I burnt in underneath the feathers, I took some uh, redwood and cherry stain and mixed them and I gave it that almost, it's like a reddish pink tone, kind of like a, a purple heart after you've worked with it and it's kind of lost some of its color. And I did something new on this one. Um, I started using uh, metal files and um, a couple other tools like that that I normally don't by hand. I just would either use my diamond or steel bits on the Dremel or just a knife. But I really like what you can get with some of these. Um, or I guess I got them right here. I'll show you. These little files. They take a while to use. But they, they come up with some cool stuff. Like I use the little cubed one to get that squared look. And then I just switched to the finer edge and just followed those lines. And then I went back and burned in them. But I'm going to start using those because usually I'm always just kind of going with the flow. But um, unless it's like turned, they're not as symmetrical. They're just kind of just whatever I feel like. So um, these help it help me be a little more precise if that's what I'm going for. But yeah, so that's the Phoenix one. Oops. Okay. And then I always have these darker ones, but I'm starting to like leave leaving some of the natural lighter color on these and then doing this burning effect. And I like the way that turns out. This one actually, my, my sister, I've been teaching her some different things. So I kind of showed her the general shape I wanted to help shape this um, and then uh, let her go from there. So I had just like these main sections shaped out. And then she came in and uh, added all the detail and runes to this one. So she's getting better. But yeah, all, all these cutouts and all that design, she just kind of freehanded out of her head. and So she's getting really good. This one, I tried something new where I have more, or it looks like the main bark part of the wand and uh, is still going all the way up to the tip of it and then it has more like the, the core still showing rather than just doing that down for the handle. This is an apprentice wand. Another apprentice wand. But yeah, I've, I've been doing some more editing and putting videos together, which takes a lot longer than I'd like. And um, 
before I was just doing 1080p on a lot of the videos, and now I have them all 4K. It takes a little bit longer when I'm because I usually just dump a ton of files over in one little bit. So when I'm exporting and uh, importing, it takes a while. And I've been trying to put together the videos in more of a template so I can go a little quicker. Um, on the ones like ones like ones of the week episodes where I can just kind of just drop in the new ones. Because going from scratch, I, I get too creative and then spend too much time on it. This one's cool because I have a highlight with uh, to bring out the. I don't know if the colors will show as well, but it's got kind of a mossy green on the bark. And then this one is like a it's a dragon horn. Custom. And this one's dragon bone. This one I actually is it's a design that I remake. Like the bone ends up slightly different, but as far as the way this um, tapers with those bevels and the ball on the end stays the same. So it's one of the ones that I do uh, remakes um, that we have on our website, along with like the guardian and um, I think maybe oh other than the animal ones. Yeah, so there's the next little group of them that I just finished, and I'll get those taken care of, and then I've got a bunch of uh, our legendary collection ones that I'm working on right now. Um, so if you're waiting on one of those, um, that's what I'm going to be uh, doing this weekend. And uh, yeah, so I'll just start putting some of those snippets and stuff and the different photos I have. I'll blow up the Instagram with them and um, try and keep you guys up to date. But thanks for watching and um, just keep an eye out for some more of the stuff and uh, I'll put some links on there. If you can go to the YouTube channel as well as I have those videos and uh, drop some likes and uh, subscribe if you'd like, that will help our channel grow as well. Thanks, everyone.